Manhattan Project, one of the most controversial human experiments in modern history. Like many other events in the past, the Manhattan Project has exemplified acts of triumph and tragedy. Robert Oppenheimer, an American physicist, first brought up talks of the atom bomb during the late 1930s when Adolf Hitler and the Nazi Party of Germany proved to be a threat to the world. Talks of such a bomb were eventually diverted to use against Japan after the attacks on Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941. President Roosevelt declared war on Japan the day after the attacks. The Manhattan Project began nine months later. Let there be no mistake, we shall completely destroy Japan's power to make war. If they do not now accept our terms, they may expect a rain of ruin from the air, the like of which has never been seen on this earth. An attack on the Japanese mainland in November of 1945 would include 1.5 million Allied soldiers. Using the atomic bomb, would end the need to have such an operation. And at one point, Burns said to Truman, Mr. President, what will you tell the American people at your impeachment in 1946? When they find out that you had a weapon that could have ended the war and saved American lives, and you decided not to use it. I think that probably was the decisive argument for Truman. He'd been in World War I, and he knew what it was to fight and die. And I think he was interested in stopping it as quick as he could. And I certainly admired the man for what he did. Japan surrendered on August 14, 1945. Let us pray that peace be now restored to the world and that God will preserve it always. The world in all had been triumphant. The deadliest war seen by mankind was over. The nuclear industry, which was born out of the Manhattan Project, would eventually rival the automobile industry. At one point, over 130,000 people were employed to work on the project. Numbers as high as 60,000 construction workers living in tents out on the Hanford Reservation. So the government went in and, and uh, bought up a half a million acres out in the desert of eastern Washington, created this remote construction site, and literally in a matter of months constructed large scale engineered structures for plutonium production. Enormous gaseous diffusion plants, known as K-25s, were built during the project. K-25s measured a half a mile long by a thousand feet wide, with an area of over two million square feet. These plants produced plutonium, which was essential in the making of the atom bomb. If you look at the size, the scope of the K-25 site in the Manhattan Project, uh, I don't think there's been any engineering feat to, to date comparable to what was done within the time frame. One can state that the Manhattan Project is a triumphant part of American history as it created many jobs due to the need in scientists, engineers, and various workers. Within two years, the nuclear industry became so large that major cities were built, including Oak Ridge, 
which at the time became the fifth largest city in the state of Tennessee. Over $2 billion was spent, equivalent to $30 billion in today's economy. Tragic epic of the 20th century. If I were going to give it a theme, the theme would be humankind invents the means of its own destruction. Paul Tibbet lifted the Enola Gay off Tinian Island, headed toward Hiroshima, Japan. At 8.15 a.m. on August 6, the atomic bomb, Little Boy, dropped from the bomb aid doors of the Enola Gay. 43 seconds later, the bomb detonated 1,900 feet above Hiroshima. I could see little bits of Hiroshima down there, but I couldn't, there was nothing there but black boiling mess. And steam was coming up, there were bubbles, and that's the way that thing looked. The Japanese death toll was a total of over 200,000 people from the initial blast and later from radiation sickness. Hiroshima, and later on Nagasaki, turned from bustling cities to mass grave sites. On this day, on 8.15, I always offer prayer, and it, even this morning, tears flow. I, I just couldn't, and everything comes right back at me. And of course, I can't forget all the people that was killed in that bomb. 90% of both cities were leveled by the 500 mile an hour winds of both blasts, which charred the skins of victims miles away and incinerated those directly below the detonation. It had such a decisive effect on American society or all societies because for the first time they faced instant, total, absolute annihilation, and one for which the average citizen had no material way to intervene to prevent it. It shattered this, this sense of security and of, uh, of confidence in American society, I think unlike any other event in, in our history. In 1949, the Soviets detonated an atomic bomb. Both superpowers tested the hydrogen bomb during the 1950s. Both the US and Soviet Union would have tens of thousands of weapons in their nuclear arsenal. The breakout of the Cold War proves to be a major tragedy of the Manhattan Project. told to stop progress. I am very much afraid that progress will occur and will occur in a country that is less dedicated to peace than we are. The small boy, I think it was a boy, was bloated and you know you couldn't hardly recognize the face at all. They're saying, Okacha, Okacha, Mizu, 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 Mommy, Mommy, Water, Water. The pitiful, painful cry is something I'll never forget.